Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just simply log into your credentials and once you're done with that, just simply come back over here, click on the checkbox and then click on agree and continue. Now just simply activate your cloud shell. It will take a couple of seconds, so just simply wait for that. And now click on this continue. Now what you do, just simply come back to the library instructions and click on the task number one. And from here, just simply copy this command, copy like this, come back over here, wait for a couple of seconds. Click on this, got it. Now just simply run the first command over here. Now again come back over here and from the point number two, you have to just simply copy this cd command. So just simply copy like this, come back over here, paste, hit enter, like this way. Now again come back over here, scroll down and from the point number seven, copy this command, come back over here and just simply run over here. Wait for a second and then just simply click on this authorize. Now again come back over here, now just simply copy the point number eight command. Copy like this and now just simply wait for this command get execute. And it's done now just simply run the point number eight command wait for a couple of seconds now it's asking like do you want to continue so just simply press y and hit enter now this command is going to take at least five to ten minutes so just simply wait for that And it's finally done. Now what we do, now here you have to just simply search for the monitoring. Open this thing, new tab, come back over here. And then just simply click on the services over here. And now just simply click on this default over here. Wait for a couple of seconds. And then just simply click on this create SLO over here. And make sure that the choose metric must be availability and for the request base or windows base it must be request base. Okay, just make sure of that thing. Now just simply click on this continue and just simply click on this continue. Now here as a period type it must be rolling like this way and for the period length it must be 7. Make sure of that. Now for the goal it must be 99.5 because if we just simply come back to the lab instructions and if we just simply scroll down over here and from here you can just simply check all these things. Okay, like this. Okay, now what you do, just simply click on this continue and then just simply click on this create SLO over here. Wait for a couple of seconds and it's done. Now just simply click on this plus icon, as you can see this one. Just simply click on this alert fil filtering and now for the display name, just simply come back over here. Scroll down from the lab instruction page and here you will get a name. So just simply scroll down and here you can see this name. So just simply copy this name like this way and make sure that you do not copy this last full stop. So just simply copy like this, come back over here, replace this name with this, like this way. And as you can see look back duration it must be 10 minutes like this way and now for the burn 10 it must be threshold must be 1.5 because if you just make a back to the lab instruction they also mention over here like this way and once you're done with that click on this next and then just simply click over here and then just simply click on this manage notification channel now for this what you do just simply scroll down now here you can see email just simply click on this add new email like this way now for the email id what you do just simply copy your username copy like this come back over here paste now for the display name just simply type quick lab and then just simply click on this save wait for a second 
and it's done now just simply click on this cross and then just simply click on this refresh button over here now if you just simply click over here you will get a notification channel so just simply click over here and then just simply click on this okay now just simply click on this next and then just simply click on the save wait for a second and it's done now again come back to the live instructions scroll down and from here you have to just make copy this last command so just make up like this come back to your dashboard and just simply run this command over here like this way hit and now just simply wait and then just simply press Y. If it's asking like do you want to continue? So just simply press Y and hit enter button. Now you have to just simply wait for this command get execute. And once it's done, you are done with this lab. And it's done. Now if you just simply come back to the live instructions and if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress, you will get a green tick over here without an issue. And if you just simply click on this check my progress, you will get a full score on this live without an issue. And if the score is not updated, no need to worry, just simply wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score on this live without an issue. And that's the way we have to complete this live. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys.